Welcome. Today we'll explore the mind's fascinating garden. We'll grow through neuroplasticity, prune with meditation, and bloom with habits and emotional intelligence. Let's start cultivating. Imagine the mind as a fertile garden. It brims with potential, much like a seed that could sprout into a vibrant flower or lofty tree. The seed's destiny, however, relies on the dedication of the gardener who constantly tends to it and applies the right cultivation techniques. Similarly, cognitive growth hinges on our commitment, time, and effort. Now, every gardener values their tools, adapting their toolkit to cater to the specific needs of their garden. Equating these tools to techniques, they become our methods for mind development. By utilizing practices like meditation or journaling, watering and weeding our mental garden, if you will, we remove unwanted thoughts and nourish our minds with clarity and focus. So, the cultivation of our mind isn't an instant or passive process. It mirrors the active daily care a garden needs for its profound transformation. By embracing and nurturing our minds through these techniques, we bolster not only our cognitive abilities, but also our personal growth and well-being. Hence, consider your mind as your inner garden, always ripe for cultivation, always ready for growth. Venturing into the mind, let's uncover the marvel of neuroplasticity. Much like a city manager rerouting traffic, constructing new roads, our brain adapts, reorganizes, and forms new neural pathways continuously. This ceaseless adaptability is neuroplasticity, an evidence of the brain's magnificent architecture that fuels our potential to learn, grow, and adapt. Now picture embarking on a journey of mastering a new language in adulthood. This accomplishment showcases neuroplasticity at play. The mental city manager just prepared a new highway reserved for the newly learned language. The brain trades familiar paths for newly carved neural networks, crafted specifically to accommodate the new linguistic skills. This adaptability doesn't stop at languages. It spans all skills we learn as adults, constantly remodeling our brains. The most thrilling part? Neuroplasticity isn't a gift bestowed on a privileged few. It's the birthright of every brain, including yours serving as the cornerstone for many mind development techniques. With this understanding, we unlock the potential of cognitive transformation, skyrocketing beyond limitations we've set for ourselves. By tapping into our inherent brain adaptability, every seemingly arduous endeavor becomes a promising opportunity for cognitive enhancement. Pruning gardens and navigating neuroplasticity, we now turn our attention to and implement an essential element in our mind development toolbox Mindfulness Meditation Rooted in Buddhist traditions, mindfulness practice captures your attention, anchoring it to the present moment, without judgment. Imagine savoring every minute detail of a delicious bite of food, or appreciating the soothing sensation of breath entering and leaving your body. Even the swirl of emotions or ebb and flow of thoughts are noticed but not judged, and when the mind inevitably wanders, its attention is tenderly brought back, like a loose kite reeled in. Now, techniques are futile if their utility is unproven, but does neuroscience back mindfulness meditation? Studies reveal consistent meditation bolsters the brain's gray matter density, the component linked with memory, emotional regulation, and high-order skills. More gray matter often equals a healthier brain. But how does it translate into cognitive improvement? Envision it as garden pruning. Each session clips the substrates of stress, anxiety, and false narratives clogging our minds. What's left? Clarity, self-awareness, healthier thought patterns. It's this mental pruning that aids germination of robust cognitive capacity. Detailed understanding indeed confirms how mindfulness meditation is like a gardener, meticulously fostering a sanctuary of cognitive flourishing. Picture a meadow, a rich tapestry of diverse plants. Our mind, much like this meadow, houses a range of thoughts and ideas. Now, the tools used in cultivating this cognitive terrain are two forms of thinking, divergent and convergent. Divergent thinking helps scatter the seeds of numerous unique ideas, celebrating quantity over quality. On the other hand, convergent thinking aids in handpicking the most promising of these ideas, acting as the gardener who curates the best flora. Essential to nourishing this mental biodiversity is Scamper, a set of mind gardening tools. Substitute invites us to swap components of an idea for fresh perspectives. Combine encourages merging disparate ideas into innovative outcomes. 
Adapt and modify urge altering existing ideas for novel uses or improvements, practically serving as the mind's pruners. Put to another use directs us to repurpose old concepts, much like reusing garden waste as compost. Eliminate, akin to deadheading spent flowers, pushes us to discard parts of an idea for clarity, while reverse allows us to explore scenarios through fresh angles, like viewing the garden from different vistas. To see this in action, consider a seemingly ordinary wheelbarrow. Now, using Scamper, we can substitute its purpose from mere transport to a unique flower container, effectively transforming this tool of cultivation into a symbol of blooming creativity. The key to growing new habits lies in understanding the habit loop, a potent tool in our mental garden. Think of the cue as a gentle nudge, a reminder for an action. The sight of a book, for instance, serves as a cue. It naturally leads to the routine, our response to the cue, which in this case is reading. This action is subsequently rewarded with a period of relaxation, their ward. Together, this cue routine reward cycle forms the habit loop, very much like a seed sprouting, growing, and finally blossoming. Now imagine each habit as a young sapling. Just as a sapling requires sunshine, water, and the gardener's care to bloom into a sturdy plant, Habits, too, need routine, consistency, and patience to grow. The magic here is not instant, but is the result of consistent effort over time, like a sturdy tree that was once a fragile sapling. Realize the power of the habit loop, the reward of sustained effort, and apply it consistently to see real growth. For example, daily exercise, much like consistent watering, helps boost stamina over time. Remember, every tree was once a seed and every habit was once just a cue. Emotional intelligence marks the bedrock of our mind garden's nourishment, signifying the ability to recognize, navigate, and effectively harvest our emotions for personal growth. Decoding this mental aptitude, we embrace five interwoven threads. Self-awareness, akin to gauging the garden's health, illuminates our emotional state, while self-regulation conflates with pruning, shaping emotions for optimal expression. Motivation fuels the gardener's hand, aiming for personal success apart from material rewards, and empathy resonates with understanding each plant's unique needs. Lastly, social skills culminate in the gardener's finesse, navigating social interactions fruitfully. How does this web of skills cultivate relationships, you ask? Picture it as a gardener nurturing their garden with care and understanding. Every plant's uniqueness is acknowledged, its needs met. This mirroring of nurture and empathy invigorates our relationships. Just as the gardener is attentive to each leaf's rustle, we enhance our emotional intelligence through active listening and mirroring emotions. Can we say that nurturing a garden parallels nurturing relationships? Each skill cherished in our emotional toolkit eases the journey through the meandering maze of interpersonal interactions, steering us towards more fruitful paths of relationship building and self-improvement. Harvest the power of neuroplasticity, a stronghold in our mental garden. Just as learning to play a musical instrument reshapes the cerebral landscape, so does every other skill, helping us evolve cognitively. Consider mastery of a musical score. Our brain readjusts, clears a new path, and strengthens it every time we decipher a note correctly. This phenomenon, akin to opening a new gate in the garden, nurtures our minds, reshaping it as we endeavor on new learning quests. Creativity, just another gate swinging wide open, allows us to perceive the ordinary in extraordinary ways. With the scamper technique, for instance, we can repurpose a mundane object like a lamp into a device that sinks light with rhythm, conveying a whole sensory symphony. Suddenly, the ordinary lamp isn't just a source of light, but a beacon of creative ideation. But to reap the garden's wares, we must tend to it consistently. Building new habits, such as maintaining a gratitude journal for just five minutes a day, triggers the cycle of reward-based learning. This routine, much akin to the quiet patience of watching a seedling grow into a tree, fortifies our emotional fortitude. Emotional intelligence manifests itself as a pivotal skill in our garden, fostering awareness of our feelings and those of others around us. Coupled with regular practice, it cultivates resilience, empowers us to innovate, and plants the seeds of empathy making our mental garden a sanctuary of growth and well-being.